Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Now in the last episode we got a one star here at Lower Bullocks and we're going to be pushing on to complete the three star objectives. So we do have a staff request that we were in the middle of. We also need to upgrade two more machines, own a third building and get our hospital to level eight to progress. We got 51 grand in the bank and a ward emergency that was just coming in. We will just have a quick look at our ward for now. We can fit four patients in there we don't have anybody queuing for it right now. And how many do we need to get in? Four patients with lazy bones. So we'll accept that. And they should start arriving very soon. So let's uh, just kick things off. And we'll have a look for a machine to upgrade. We've got a drug mixer there. This drug mixer needs an upgrade. So let's get that started. The other thing we can do is I think we've got the deluxe deluxe that we can upgrade. So we'll get that upgraded as well. And we'll speed things up a little bit. We need a little bit more money in before we can actually own a third building, but we'll probably grab this one here. It's a little bit cheaper on the 50 grand side of things as opposed to this 75,000 pound monstrosity. Other than that, here come our emergency patients. We've got some in the ward now, so there will be a little bit of a queue, but they should be okay. What I also am going to do in this episode is actually just specialise our staff so that we have some only in certain places. We've got a reporter visit coming in, we'll accept that, and a staff promotion. There we go, nice and easy. We're running out of time to cure our 10th patient, but I think we should manage it okay. We've just got one more to get through, and we've got 14 days to do that. If we don't do this in 13 days, I'm not going to be happy. There we go, done. Great, so our staff happiness has gone up, and we've got some kudos. We also have a two-point radio reporter arriving at the hospital. And we have, what, 60 days to cure these patients. We got one waiting outside, I think. No, they're all in there. Fantastic. So they should hopefully all get cured at around about the same time. And we'll be done. What's going on with you? Oh, you needed a, a nurse to come and help you get into bed? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so we've got our machines upgraded. Got money coming in. You've discovered potty mouth. Patient opens their mouth. Terrible things happen. Caused by drinking water from a toilet sink or a toilet. And we've got a staff promotion. Our junior assistant is now a full-time assistant. We've got about enough money to get this uh, expansion, so we'll build that. I know our money's quite low, but we are fine. There's nothing to worry about. That's another one cured, and we've just got this last one that needs cured of lazy bones to finish off that. And it's done. Four out of four. And l Freudian lips. A tendency to pout excessively when faced with a camera. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Right, so we've got our third building, and then it's just a case of getting the hospital to level 8. Let's just have a look at where we've got sizable queues. Nowhere really has a queuing problem. I wonder if we should build that new room, the cardiology. Needs a nurse, it's basic diagnosis. So let's just put it in, we'll drop it over here. I'm not sure how big it's going to need to be, so we'll have a look at what we need to put in. A heart racer, which is just a treadmill. And is that it? Oh, well, we'll put a few windows in then. A filing cabinet. Our usual extinguisher and some hand sanitizer. And then plants. A yucca. We need one. Oh, we can't. That plant's going to... Right, never mind. Oh, dear. What have I done here? Move that. There, that's better. A charity dog. <laughs> Put a charity dog in. An eye test poster in front of the treadmill so they can test their eyes while they're running on the treadmill. I think that would work. Ooh. Oh, they just provide entertainment. I thought an exercise room would be good. Punching bag. Increases happiness. <laughs> uh, weighing scales. That's a good one. We'll put that in. There we go. There. <laughs> right, let's carry on. Speed it up. 
We own three buildings. Our hospital is level eight. I don't know what we're going to do with this thing. Everything's... Pr we haven't even finished building out into this one. What can we do with that little space there? What have we got here? Monobrow. Extreme hair growth. <laughs> Caused by excessive consumption of both highbrow and lowbrow entertainment. <laughs> Amazing. Let's put another toilet block in. And we'll just stick it here. And have it, like, coming out a little bit. So it backs out under that. It's a slightly large toilet block, I will admit. Especially when you consider that we don't actually have a lot of patience in there to actually use it <laughs> but it'll do it works we don't need a extinguisher in there if someone's setting fire in toilets there's seriously something wrong with the world can we fit in some plants as well just to make this look a bit nicer there we go probably the nicest looking toilet block you will ever see let's build another ward because we seem to be getting a lot of like ward emergencies and stuff coming in. And then we can probably put another staff room in. In this like empty space that we've got created. And this is going to be another smallish ward with just a few beds in. But it works. Can we fit lockers in beside all of the beds? Yes we can. Lovely. And a filing cabinet for the nurse. Nice. Right, okay. So, hospital almost at level 8. And we've got a publicity update. And, oh, we impressed the VIP. Shoot five mono beasts. What is... What's a mono beast? Watch out for mono beasts hurrying around at the hospital. Use your monitor to point and... Okay. Where... Where... Where are we going to see mono beasts? Look out for them hiding in dark places and under objects. Okay, very interesting. Let's hunt some mono beasts. What do they look like? Oh, dear me, why have they done this? Why did I accept this? I don't know what they look like. I don't know where they are. I don't know how to find them. All I know is I've got 180 days to shoot five of the things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to uh, succeed in this little mission. Can you guys just focus on getting my hospital to an acceptable level 8? And then um, I'll just focus on whatever the hell you've asked me to do. What do they look like? How, how often do they appear and... Where can I see them? And why do I have to do this? Surely this is the janitor's jobs. <laughs> oh, we're just going to speed things up. I think this is going to be a fail, really. Like, do they even have like a tooltip or something above their heads so that we can see them? This is all very concerning. A lot of patients are queuing for rooms that are run by doctors, but there aren't any available. Okay, right, we'll hire some more doctors then. Let's get... Right, you're good. Uh, oh, we do need an extra psychiatrist, so that works well. And we'll take this one for general diagnosis and speedy other stuff. Yay! Prestige level 8. We've unlocked the extractor pan mark 2. And what do we need for tier 3? Hospital level 10. Cure rate of 70%. Cure 20 patients get hospital to level 10 if you do spot a mono beast <laughs> leave me a comment <laughs> I don't <laughs> so we currently have a cure rate of 70% our hospital attractiveness we need to get up as well we're only at 70 we need 70 70 why do I keep saying 70 we need 65% and we're only at 57% so let's uh, place some items to make things look a little bit better Plants. Oh yeah, we've got lots of space that we could do with uh, putting some stuff in. Oh, an award ceremony. What have we won? Oh, fantastic. Patient's choice, most prestigious hospital, no deaths, employer of the year, doctor of the year, nurse of the year. 
Janet is slacking and the assistants, come on, you guys have got to pick up a pace. I'm not keeping you around for nothing. I want a clean sweep at the next awards. If they don't do it, they're getting sacked. <laughs> We're just going to put some uh, some plants around. Um, can we get some nice statues in? Do we want to put a silver fox statue <laughs> at the door to greet guests as they come in? Can't really fit it anywhere, the pine cone. That's a nice little centerpiece. Does it actually increase attractiveness? It does! Fantastic. Weird little sculpture right in the middle. And then we'll put some busts in, I guess. Can we... F oh, we can't put them in those rooms. That's a shame. Can we get one there? Nice. Excellent. Now you're talking. An armless statue. And another armless statue, just staring across. The hypercube. Yeah, we put that in the entrance as well. And then can we get some like nice wall art or something? Lightheaded poster. But no, we'll put lightheaded posters on these walls. They don't seem to do anything though. Will a pinball machine help? Maybe not, but it'll... A vanity chamber. A trampoline. Oh no, these all reduce boredom. Um, Dipping duck. <laughs> a thrill ride. Right, let's... Um, we're just going to have to put some other stuff. Oh, let's upgrade our extractor pan, actually, while we're waiting. An orrery. Right in the middle there. <laughs> it's it's definitely not an organized sort of development that we're putting in place here. An Accordinatron. Does he do anything? Does he increase attractiveness? I don't think he does. No. Just provides entertainment. Space Cowboy. Uh, he increases hospital attractiveness. Nice. Then we'll put in a few more plants. We're back to the boring stuff now, I'm afraid. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're almost where we want to be at 65%. 63%. Still at 63. Come on. Push me that little bit further. 64. <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm just throwing things down anywhere I possibly can now. 64 still. 65! Yes, we've done it! Excellent. Right, we just got to get the hospital to level 10 and cure 20 patients. We put another staff room in, like I said I was going to do. Just a little one down here. Because we have a lot of staff and they'll probably end up queuing for the staff room, which we don't want. Put a few more items for entertainment purposes in, and then can we put like a arcade machine or something just for entertainment? We don't really need one now. We've got everything in place. Fantastic! Right. Okay. Extra staff room done. Hospital level still at eight. We do need to hire. Let's hire some more nurses. Actually, one and two. Can we do with another doctor? Got another psychiatrist waiting there. Michael Corruption. Um, okay. <laughs> Hospital level nine. And then maybe another assistant. Oh, that's a good one. What have you got? Customer service all the way up to rank three. And then stamina training two. And let's get another janitor for upgrading stuff. Yep. Great. Right. Probably shouldn't take us long now. We've just got to cure some more patients. Our level needs to go up. But yeah, if we, lightheadedness emergency to the deluxe clinic. We could do with building another deluxe clinic, actually. We will um, promote this staff member. Leave that for now. And build another deluxe clinic. And we'll make that the first of our new spaces. Next 
extinguisher, hand sanitizer, yucca, plant, and some posters to finish it off. Nice, right, okay, so now we'll take that lightheadedness emergency. And they should come running in. Ooh, we've got a bit of a queue here at the uh, GP's office. So what I think is going to be a good idea is if we can move this to here, I'll then build a new GP's office. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll put it there. And the door there. That'll be a sizable GP's office. Fantastic. We'll put some weighing scales in. An extinguisher. For no reason whatsoever. Just in case those uh, weighing scales catch fire, actually. You kind of be too careful. And then some plants, just to finish it all off. And a hat stand. Perfect. And that should solve the queuing issues we've got. With Here come the lightheadedness lot. We have some people queuing, but we've got quite a lot here that are... They should get sorted very quickly. So we, should, we shouldn't really need to worry about any of that at the moment. Here come the lightheadedness patients for the deluxe clinic. And this should uh, finish off our curing, and actually it may well get our... I haven't seen any mono beasts. I can't shoot them. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. Somebody died. Oh dear, it's one of the lightheadedness patients. We need our ghost vacuumer. Why are you running away? Somebody get there and hoover that ghost up, quick. Stop running away. Thank you very much. Petra pumps. Okay, <laughs> so we've got a substantial queue. We're going to need to hire some more doctors. And we've got a bit of a build up here. It might be worth, we could probably do with building another doctor's office. Oh, level 10. Hey, we finished. And with that, we can close out the episode before we move out and get on to our next one. Hospital attractiveness is 70% apparently we need. That won't take us long to do, so let's just actually... We might as well complete this challenge now. We'll put some plants down. A yucca. No, we won't. We're done. We're done. We're, we can leave here now. So I just want to thank you again for joining me on this journey. It's been a fun one. Uh, I've really enjoyed finishing this one off. And next, we'll move on to whatever that next hospital was called. Let's have a quick look to the map. Our next destination is right over here, Flottering, learning about staff development and training. So I'm excited to start that one. I hope you are too. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.